Hallo und damit wieder herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von The Cat Lady. Mein Name ist Gabro und der Name von dieser netten Dame ist Susan. Die letzte Folge war ein wenig sehr verwirrend, weil ich... Ich soll irgendwie jetzt fünf Menschen umbringen, die sonst, wenn ich es nicht tue, grundsätzlich auf Dauer immer und immer wieder unschuldige Menschen töten oder, oder zumindest irgendwas weiß ich was machen. Ähm, ich konnte mir zumindest das, die Brechstange von dieser alten Lady holen und wir schauen mal, was sich so hinter den Brettern verbirgt. Weil jetzt habe ich ja und äh, wahrscheinlich geht's, oder? Ach so, ähm, runterdrücken, Inventar und jetzt kann ich es benutzen. Jawohl. Flupp, flupp. Geschafft. Da ist jetzt... Oh, dieses... Wieso ist das Loch voll... Oh, ich weiß nicht, ich weiß nicht, ich weiß nicht. Wieso ist das Blut... Äh, Blut, hä? Ja, ganz genau. Ja, doch, stimmt eigentlich. Wieso ist da Blut um diesen Loch herum? Nochmal äh, als kurze Info, irgendwo wird nochmal der Warnhinweis eingeblendet. Ähm, das Spiel ist vielleicht eventuell ein wenig äh, bestialisch und vielleicht eventuell für äh, Leute unter 18 nicht ganz geeignet, aber wie schon gesagt, schauen auf eigene Gefahr, das Loch untersuchen, Notfall, Notfallstromschalter, Gefahr. Es ist dunkel im Innern, so viel Blut um das Loch, wurde hier jemand verletzt? Dann greifen wir doch einfach mal hinein und finden es heraus. Ich habe ja... Habe ich gespeichert? Ja, ich glaube, ich habe gespeichert. Ich glaube nicht, dass du den Knopf drücken sollst. Test! Ach du Scheiße! Oh, Hilfe! Ach du! Schnell rauf hier! Ey, wie jetzt? Wie jetzt die Tür ist zu? Was soll das denn? Hey! Äh, ja, ja, stimmt. Jetzt brauche ich nur noch ein paar Handschuhe. Ach du Kacke. Ba, 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 wie, wie jetzt? Was denn jetzt los? Die Maschine funktioniert wieder. Die Maschine wollte ein Blutopfer haben, oder was? Ja, ich äh, pumpe ein bisschen. Aber ansonsten ist ja alles in Ordnung. Kann ich jetzt wieder abhauen? Guck mal, die Tür ist wieder auf. Ich kann abzischen. Wie krank ist das denn? Die Musik von Mechanic. Kann ich jetzt, kann ich wieder zurücklaufen oder was? Ne, zurücklaufen kann ich nicht. Okay. Interface Programming James Panos. Wie kranke Scheiße ist das denn? Art and Programming A. Michalski. Ach, da ist er wieder, der Michalski. Ei, 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 Das ist ja... Wurde ich jetzt erschossen? Wurde ich erschossen? Hallo? Hat sich so angehört, ja? Au, oh, fuck, was war das? Ja, das war auf jeden Fall mal ein Einstand für die Folge. Ei, 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 ei. Ja, die Katzenlady. Und auch noch mal da oben. Die Katzenlady. Von und mit R. Michalski. Fuck, was für eine kranke Scheiße. Boah, ich krieg wieder ein bisschen Gänsehaut wieder bei... Boah. Eieiei. Kapitel 2. Und der zweite, erste Atemzug. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patients are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind, and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, 
and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? I can't remember. Hmm. CT scan didn't show any permanent damage to your brain. I'd assume you still feel a bit confused. Your body went through a massive shock. You should soon be able to remember everything. Maybe after you've got some sleep, we could talk again. You need plenty of rest, Susan. Your memory will come back soon. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Das ist aber wirklich eine sehr lange Sekunde, wenn ich ganz ehrlich sein soll. Ach, da ist er endlich. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. Ich bitte doch Liz, darum. By the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw, that was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. You can prove it. Fine. I'll give you a second chance. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Ich kann mich aber auch gerade nicht wirklich wehren, würde ich mal so sagen, ja? Aber ich habe gerade gesehen, mein Blutdruck war 124 zu 70. Wobei der untere vielleicht etwas niedrig war. Ne? Optimaler Druck wäre eher so bei 120 zu 80 auf jeden Fall. Kann ich mich bewegen? Was? 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 Hä? Wie jetzt? Hä? Was ist jetzt los? Wurde ich ver... Bad dream. Ver Boah. Ah, nein, nur ein Traum wie jeder andere. Nein, ein wirklich schlimmer Traum. Ja, yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. 
I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? Ich wurde lebendig verbrannt. Sagen wir mal so, wie es ist, ne? I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 liters of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. It's just like that sometimes, isn't it? Wie war gleich noch mal ihr Name? What was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do with that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. You're here a lot. Every time I open my eyes, I see you. The make auxiliaries do crazy hours here. Seriously, I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel. But there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car. And a crow. And a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there. I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. 
They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work. But it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Boah, aber die Liz, ne? Das ist ja wirklich mal voll ne Quasselstrippe. Die quatscht dir ja einen Kotelett an die Backe und verkauft dir dann dazu noch eine Waschmaschine. Herrgott nochmal, erzählen sie mir mehr über diesen Dr. X, wenn ich darauf nochmal drücke, dann erzählt sie mir ja wieder alles, ja. Und ich glaube, diese Tochter könnte ja durchaus, ich denke, das ist hier diese, äh, hier dieser Tod eventuell, keine Ahnung, ich weiß es nicht. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you, but then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Cats. Maybe. Uh, erzählen Sie mehr über sich? Nein, ich, ich, uh, ganz ehrlich, ich bin jetzt müde. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, 
It's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up, right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. One. Six. Sieben. Acht. Neun. Zehn. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Der möchte ja wirklich viel von mir wissen. Ähm, ich wuchs ohne Vater auf. I was brought up without a father. I understand he wasn't there when you were growing up. Can you tell me why? What happened to him? He... Weil... Ne? Sie sagte ja auch gerade hier die List, man soll aufpassen, mit wem man quatscht und wem man was vertraut. Und, weiß ich nicht, ich werde... Äh, er brachte sich und ich will so wenig wie möglich quasi über mich erzählen ähm, und dann sage ich starb bei einem Unfall. Died in an accident. I'm not sure what exactly happened. All I know is that it was a car crash. Ups. I was told he died instantly. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Also gerne schon mal gar nicht. Wunderbare Mutter, sie war eine grauenhafte. Ich verlor sie, als ich noch ein Kind war. Ich hatte eine wunderbare Mutter. I can't complain. My mom was great. She did her best to make up for the loss of my father. Me and her, we were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. Warum? She passed away seven years ago. Her forever broken heart finally gave up. But she did give me a wonderful childhood, despite everything that happened. I will always love her for that. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Ja, ich darf mich endlich mal wieder bewegen. Ich darf mich I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Endlich darf ich mich wieder frei bewegen. Endlich super. Boah. Also ganz ehrlich, selbst für ein Indie Game wird da ja mal wohl ziemlich viel, 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 viel gesprochen, aber es macht einfach unheimlich Spaß der Geschichte von Susan tatsächlich ähm, ja, zu folgen. Aber, ähm, naja gut, ich bedanke mich heute auf jeden Fall mal wieder bei euch fürs Zuschauen, hoffe es hat wieder einigermaßen Spaß gemacht, auch wenn diese Folge jetzt ein wenig, wobei der Anfang der Folge ziemlich brutal war und jetzt sind wir wieder in so einem Fahrgewässer, wo es wieder etwas ruhiger geworden ist, ähm. Genau, ich wiederhole mich gerne noch einmal, bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen, hoffe ihr seid morgen wieder bei der nächsten Folge mit dabei, wenn wir das Krankenhaus hier auf dem Kopf stellen werden. Bis dahin, euer Gabriel und eure Susan. Ciao.